Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So I had a really nice weekend. I had about four days off, five, four or five days off. I don't even know. I had a nice birthday. It was much needed R&R. &R. I got to the point where I was ready to get back at it. Um, but I got a lot of things done this morning and it's getting kind of late in the day. But I went to the hardware store and they actually cut a bunch of two by fours to the links I need for it was a decent fee. It was not much at all. I was shocked. I think that it's just a local place and maybe they were just doing me a favor. But I had, they cut a bunch of 33 inch boards. I got a bunch of two by fours and I'm gonna try to make some cables to go along here. And I was thinking of just making them like right here, like at this height, because I figured that would give them the most sun all day because up here they might i don't know they might start getting less done i don't really know um but one thing i do need to do is probably level out this floor and maybe put some landscape fabric down and maybe it doesn't need leveled that bad it's not as bad as maybe i thought it was um we will see and then i'll bring the boards in and i'll just get as much done as i can i want to make three of these tables so it might take longer than, you know, today, but I'm just gonna start getting to it. Okay, so I've cleaned up all of this and I took just part of that out. I need a lot taller ladder to get up there and take those off. Um, but I think I should be able to roll out my landscape fabric along here. I got some like, so what happened is I ordered the wet landscape fabric and they didn't send me to wet. They sent me like, it's not good fabric. It's just like that cloth stuff that is not good. And so I told them and they sent me to wit and they said they were going to pick up this other fabric and they never did. And I called them and told them they hadn't picked it up yet and they never did. And I called them and told them that they hadn't picked it up yet. And I think like the cost of shipping probably wasn't worth the fabric. So I've had it for over a year. They've never even tried to get it back. So I've decided I'm just going to bring that roll in and I'm going to put a strip down this whole area here. Um, I might get that broom and try to just kind of sweep more of it level and then I'm going to roll that out and then that way I can lay my stuff on it and not have to like work in this powdery dust stuff. I can just work on top of that landscape fabric. But it's coming along. Um, obviously, I've just piled everything <laughs> off to the sides over here. So that will have to all come another day. But some of this stuff isn't mine, so it's not like I can just get rid of it. I might be able to move it like to the barn or something, but I don't think it'll even be in my way over here. Um, I might just move stuff so we have easier access to it and I'll just slowly work away at it. And then I'll have to get a taller ladder and just a little hammer and take those little boards up there down. I just used my chainsaw and cut off this little square section because for right now, I think this is all I should need. Okay, so I got the landscape. I just tacked it down a little bit. It doesn't need to be real tacked down. Um, I was going to put rock in here. I don't know how this is going to do, but we will see. Um, hopefully, hopefully it just keeps mud from splattering and stuff whenever I water. But I did lay out. I think these are going to have more like every foot. So that's why there's a pile of boards sitting right next to them. But I got all those laid out. 
So I should have two eight foot tables, which is 24 feet. The outside of this was 30 feet. So I'll probably have an extra like, I would guess three or four feet to play with in, in between the tables. Um, so if I wanted to make another little smaller one, if I need it, I can. Um, but we will just see how it goes. I think I'll be able to fit a lot of trays on these. So yay, it's coming together. Um, I was getting started. I was going to start nailing um, the end boards and then every foot I'll put the other boards. And I realized that I thought I could use some nails that I've just had sitting around at home forever, but they're too short. So I think I'll just pick up a box of nails. Um, I'd rather just get longer ones and I think I'm going to just research what size. I only had two inch nails. And so even if I sunk it, it didn't seem like a lot of nail would be catching the other piece of board. So I think I'll just ask somebody what their suggestion is or Google it and and then tomorrow actually get to the part of building the tables. Um, and we'll see, it might be hard to do with one person because as I was trying to hold that and keep it square, I realized it was kind of a difficult task. So we'll just see how it goes and I'll keep you updated, but I think it'll be nice to have these. And then I'll just put some wire along the top and I'll be able to put my trays on them. It's a lot warmer in here too. I need to get a thermometer. I've had the doors open, but it was a lot warmer in here than it is outside for sure. Even with just this part of the window. So that's, that was awesome. <laughs> Yay. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoy this video and I hope you have a great day.